Hey there, this is Anmesh and today we are going to learn how you can convert raster images into vector. But why vector? Well, if you are a graphic designer, you would understand that no matter how much you zoom in, no matter how much you go control plus or command plus, a vector image never ever pixelates, unlike a raster image. Also, if you are using a vector image, you can freely make adjustments to it without any loss in quality. Maybe you want to tweak the design a little bit. Maybe you want to change the stroke or bend the stroke a little bit. Not only you can change colors, but also you can color an illustration. So before we begin, let me know down in the comments below, what about, how about a camera that could capture images in vector format? instead of raster so that you could zoom in as much as you want and it never got pixelated. Is that possible? Also, we bring you the latest tips, tricks and updates from the creative community so that you remain updated always every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So do consider subscribing. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, for this demonstration, I'm using Adobe Illustrator. Well, if you don't have Adobe Illustrator, you can go ahead and use other programs. There are a lot of free softwares available if you Google it. But trust me, Adobe Illustrator does it best. So before we begin, I have a big disclaimer to drop. And that is, you can only convert those raster images which have flat colors to vector images. Only flat colored images can be converted to vector images images. Suppose you have a real image of a person. What happens in, in, in real images is that you have a highlight and a shadow and the highlight and the shadow simply blends in, gradually blends in. It goes from bright to dark and the colors also blend in. So you cannot convert that into vector. You can, but you can try, but that will uh, only result into crappy images. So let's go ahead and do the conversion. So for this example, we will use two pictures, both of which are cartoon characters, if you recognize them. And uh, one interesting thing is to notice that I did purposely is one of them is black and white and the other one is color. So let's look at uh, this image. This image is just an outline which you can convert into vector and later also color it if you want. <laughs> And as you can see that there are a few guidelines which we will get rid of when we convert this to vector. So let's go ahead and convert this one first. And one thing to remember, the thing is the process of converting a color raster image into vector is different from converting a black and white image or an outline image into vector. So both have different processes. So that's why I have chosen two different kinds of images. Now, let's first uh, import this in uh, uh, what is called Illustrator. So you need to drop it in the software. Just drag and drop and let's make it smaller. Okay, let's make it a little bit smaller. Hold shift and then make it smaller. Drag the edges to make it smaller. Why hold shift? That will maintain the aspect ratio. Now, it's of the correct size. Now what do you have to do? You have to simply make sure that the image is selected, then click image trace. Simply as you can see, just with one click, the image is converted into a vector image. But as you can see, the outlines are quite messy around the eyes and our outlines are quite messy around the mouth and the mustache. So this is not quite the way we want it. So let's edit that. So how do we edit that? Open up the image trace Panel. How do you open up the image trace panel? Well, beside the view, this the, beside uh, the text view, there is a tiny icon, right? And on the right side of preset, on the left side of view, there's a tiny icon, image trace panel, just click it and this will pop up. Now by default, you cannot see the advanced tab, don't worry about it. Uh, just when you click it, you, you'll be able to see it. Now make sure that the black and white option is selected. Also, what do you have to do? First step. First step is pull the threshold slider to the right end, all the way to the end. Then slowly and gradually take it to the left. Now what you can see, it's really messy and you can also see those outlines which we don't want. Let's take it a little further. Let's take it a little further. 
uh, it's good, but as you can see, the the outlines are uh, extremely thick as compared to the original drawing. So whenever you want to watch the original drawing for reference, you can always go ahead in the view and select source image. Okay, and let's go back to the result, tracing result. So this is not fine enough, so let's go ahead and decrease that. Decrease it to the point, don't decrease it completely. It will come. It will become cartoonish. It, it it will become crappy. So decrease it to the point where you think it's appropriate. I think 150 is a nice number to be. Okay, we are done. Now the next step: make sure the advanced tab is selected and opened. Then select the part slider and get it around 80, 90-ish. You can always go ahead and tweak and test with your images. And corners, make sure it's also 80, 90-ish. Always leaning towards the right side. And noise should always need, uh, lean towards the left side. And then what you have to do, you have to make sure that ignore white is checked. Now let me tell you why you need to check this. So suppose I just, let me zoom out, and let me draw, uh, say, a rectangle. Let me draw a rectangle and change its color to, say, orange. Click OK. Now when I take this rectangle, OK, let's right click, arrange it, and send it to back. You cannot see the rectangle, can you? You cannot. Why? Because the rectangle is going behind the image of the cartoon. But you might say, but the rectangle is not going behind the image of the cartoon, it's still on the side. But why is it, why is it disappearing here? Well, an illustrator is also considering white as an object, which we don't want. So let's go ahead and check ignore white, and let's see what happens now. Now you can see, you can simply go ahead uh, and take the rectangle at the back of the image. Well, let's delete that. Okay, and once you're satisfied with this result, you can always go ahead and click Expand. And you're done, and your image is converted into a vector. Now, as you can see, no matter how much you zoom in, it never gets pixelated. Let's zoom in a little bit to show you a little bit of demo. Okay. It never, it will never get pixelated. Zoom, 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 it's still sweet. Okay, now if you want to color, say you want, if you want to color this image, you can also do that. How? Make sure the image is selected and select the live paint bucket. What, whatever color you want, you select the color. I don't know what color he is. Let's select the skin color. And go ahead and uh, click this. But it's turning out to be black and white, why? Because we have selected black and white here, we have to all, uh, again convert it into RGB or color. So let's go ahead and undo that and make sure this is selected. And then select the color panel. So this is the color panel. So if you cannot see that, go to Windows, make sure you click color. So in the colors panel, click this and go to RGB. Now when you select the live paint bucket tool, and now when you select any color like this one, and click it, it, it will simply color the face. But as you can see, it's also entering the eye. Well, why? Because there's no outline in it. We can get over that. How? Select the pen tool and simply add a line here, from here to maybe here. And you can go ahead and uh, click P. We're done with the line. You can go ahead and dismiss the color on this so that just the outline stays. And then you can go ahead and then you can select all of them and select the live paint bucket too and select the color that you want, maybe this one, and go ahead and paint that. And now as you can see that it has not entered the eye. Why? Because we had the pen tool to draw the boundary there. So you can go ahead and also always go ahead and color this and take your time, color this, have fun. Now let's bring in the other image. Now this, let's just simply delete that. Let's close this. No. Now let's bring in the other image. So peak Archu. Bring it in. Right. Okay, let's make it a little bit smaller. Select the image, hold shift to make it smaller. Place it in the center. Okay. Now, click OK. Uh, place it in the center. Click outside. Now, there's one thing that you need to know. Before you convert a color image to vector, you need to count the colors. Well, as I said before, the process is completely different. Now, not completely, but it's quite different. So count 
the number of colors you have in this image. So if it was not a flat image, well, you will have a hard time counting 16 million colors. So, so you need to count the colors. Colors, the number of colors should be less than or equal to 30. If it's more than 30, it's going to be very difficult to convert that, that into a vector image. Now, let's see how many colors we have here. Always consider white also as a color. Don't forget that. Most people do that. So white, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have around nine colors in this image. So how do we convert that? So make sure the image is selected. Select that image, select image trace. And this time, this time, select, uh, open the image trace option, just like before. And this time, instead of black and white, select color. And now it's processing the image. Now processing takes a lot of time, especially when you're dealing with colored images. So it's still doing that. Now let me check whether it's recording or not because time and again, I'm afraid whether the recorder is switched on or off. Okay, so now it has, it's using 30 colors. So, but this image doesn't have 30 colors. We counted, this image has nine colors. So make sure you select nine. Let it do the calculation. And we're good to go. Again, go ahead and adjust paths and corners and let it do, uh, it's taking a long time. Corners and noise reduction. And it's done. Again, make sure that ignore white is selected and it's still processing. Let it process. That's the way it is. That's the way softwares work. It takes time to process. Okay, we're good to go, are we? Well, I think we are. Once you're satisfied, click expand. Yes. And we have got the image ready to hit the walls and rock your graphic design posters. Anyway, so as you can see, if I zoom in on the eye, everything is good, everything is perfect and things it has rendered the image perfectly. But as you can see, the eyes are a bit off. Right? It was, it's, it's really off. It, it was not this way before. It was not this way before. How was it? Let, let, me, let me look at the original image. So it was kind of beautiful. This kind of thing was happening right there. You can, don't worry about it. What you can do is, oh, what you can do is you can always go ahead and delete the, the, the separate parts. As, as I said before, you can freely edit the images, make changes to the images without any loss in quality. That's one of the advantages that vector images have over raster ones. So you can go ahead and uh, select the direct selection tool and delete these one by one. And you can go ahead and always uh, take the pen tool and draw one for yourself. Let's draw this. I mean, we can we can make a better Yes, we, okay, so this is so much better. So we drew it. You can use your own drawing skills. I'm really bad at this, uh, but I know you're better than me. So yes, you can do this and you can also add a little bit of shine or whatever you want, maybe around it too, and maybe a little bit of shine here. And make it a little bit lighter or less lighter. and delete the extra parts. Select the shape builder tool and delete this and this. And we're good to go, aren't we? Let's go ahead and zoom out and let's see. Yeah, we're good. Oh, you can go ahead and copy this to this, to the, this eye. And you can right click, arrange and, uh, no, transform and reflect. Vertical, and you can place it just over here. And we are done with the eye. You can go ahead and add uh, another details like, uh, as you can see, this this has a little bit of details like these black lines. You can add that. So that's that's a different tutorial. This is tutorial. This tutorial just for conversion. And also, if something goes wrong, you can always go ahead and edit that freely without any loss in further uh, any further loss in quality. So guys, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks a lot for staying till the end. And if you are interested into retouching, well, I have an amazing tutorial in which you can smoothen the skin and at the same time retain the skin texture and that process is called frequency separation. Go ahead and watch that, the link to that right here. 
Also, there's another tutorial on how you can make a poster in Photoshop. In that tutorial, I just don't teach how to do that in Photoshop, but also I'll, I'll take you to the process of planning and collecting resources and assembling that beautifully and designing in Photoshop. Okay, so for that, click there and I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay tuned and happy Photoshopping, happy illustrating and uh, stay tuned.